Hello there! If you want to create a flipbook using Canva, you are in the right place. So, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this step by step. There are actually a few ways, a few different ways that you can do this, but the result is going to be the same. So, it's really up to you which uh, option you want to choose. In my case, uh, here, we want to use Canva, and I'm going to be actually using some Canva Pro features and tools. That's the reason why I'm going to be leaving you a 30-day free trial version of Canva Pro, so you don't have to be paying absolutely for anything at all. And you can just have fun with all the features, with all the tools that are um, available for Canva. So first of all, what we want to do here is to create a design, right? And here I want to use my custom size. And when you always want to create something for, let's say, for Instagram post, for YouTube, for Facebook, or you want to just create like an extended video, like a standard file, and you want to choose something horizontal like 1920 and 1080. And hit into create and use design. So after you see that this one is already being created, we are now having the edit the design section of Canva, right? So here what we want to do is to focus on an element where we want to make a flip book here. So what I want to do here is to go into my elements and I want to choose some notebook uh, circles. So if I want to create like for example some some kind of um, a flip book but looks to look a little bit more digital i want to create something like this and i'm going to be copy and paste this option and putting here i'm going to just drag that in here and here is my notebook like something really really just uh simple to do if you want to create like for example uh i'm going to be choosing like notebook paper which is this one i'm just going to be selecting it and like that in here so what i just need to do is to track that right here and send that into the back so now it looks much more like a flip book right so now i want to do here is to choose my three elements and i want to group them and lock them now that I lock them, I will no longer be available to move them. So I can just add my animations, my stuff that I want to make like a flipbook and create some designs. So here into elements, let's say that I want to use something um, really, really simple just for this tutorial so you see what you can do later. So choose the cloud option. Here into the cloud, I'm going to be choosing, let's say, and I want to change the color. Now that I have here my element, I want to use like another element and I want to flip that like this. I choose elements once again. I'm going to be choosing just a one more cloud. And here, as you can see, I used the magic of recommendations because I, I wanted to use something, some element related into the element that I just import into my flipbook, which is this one. Right, so I just want to make some quick um, design like this and like this and like this, right? So lastly, what I would just need to do here is just put the first position of all my um, my elements, which is this one. And now what I want to do is to duplicate this page. So now that I duplicated this page, what I want to do is to start creating some movement to create the illusion of a flipping effect of a notebook, right? So let's say that I want to just move that like this from one point into another one. After you successfully done that, duplicate the page once again and move that once again, on and on, over and over again, right? So like this. And there we go. So now, as you can see, now that I have, let's say, uh, I have 21 pages. So now I have the flip book illusion of all my files, of my drawings. So if I am good to go, I'm going to be choosing the grid view. So here it is all my flip book. So then what I want to do here is to choose the first one, go into the present full screen, 
uh, I'm just gonna exit here and choose the, the first one all right so now what I want to do if I want to make the illusion I just want to use my keyword of going um, back and forward like this so this is my flipbook effect so this is one way that you can do this the second way which is a lot much more easier I'm gonna be just exiting here and uh, just for this purpose of this tutorial, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be choosing all of this uh, pages and I'm going to delete it, right? All of those. I'm just going to stick around with this first one. So in here, what I want to do here is to select the option that says animate, right? So there are a few elements that are already added as an, as a, as an extension, as a template. As an animation already created so I can just try to use something that can be uh, really accurate for my for my videos right like this like this or like this I can't like this one and if I don't like the I'm gonna be choosing this scrap color I can choose to change the intensity if I wanted to and here it is I didn't have to import and duplicate anything because I already have an animation that's like a scrapbook, right? We just created here. Is to go into the home section and here you want to choose create a new video. And here into create a new video is gonna be appearing something just a little bit more um, just different than we just did here. So if I select all my elements, I'm gonna be unlocking all my elements. I'm gonna be copying and paste that in here. So here what I can do is to track the position of how much do I want my clip to last. So I'm going to just use this one. And here into the first color, and as you can see we already have this effect. But let's say that I want to choose from this one. And as you can see it's going to be creating different, uh, different paths. So I want to see, I want to tell him when do I want the element to appear. So let's say from this second into this second. And I hit a hit into play. Right? So there's different ways that you can create your own videos, your own effects into flip as you flip book here into Canva, right? And you can add some more elements if you wanted to. And lastly, if I want to add like a transition between one or two uh, pages, I choose the add transition. And here I can choose dissolve, slide, color whip, uh, circle grab, match and move, stacked. I love to use the color whip because it looks much more interesting. And I can change the color if I wanted to. And just after I am successfully done with all this, I hit enter play. There's my video. There's my uh, flick book already animated. But if you want to stick around with the, the flick book version that is just... Uh, for making copy paste and well the it's really really simple to do this here into Canva now you have all your elements already created and actually if you are not happy with uh, some specific uh, page you can go back and you can just redrag that and don't have to start from scratch which is actually really really useful for all of us so there you have it guys now we know how to create our our own stuff, our own flip book. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this kind of flip booking creative stuffs here from Kamba. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.